All right, farmers, we're back with a new map. So this is North March. This is by Alice Swellig Holstein, 194.22 megabyte on the download. And we've got some required mods to start off with. So you're going to need to download the Recycling Center by Gwendal, Wind Turbine Package by Razak, Half Timbered Farm Building by Vertex Design, Cow Shed 3 Plus Flea by DMI 20mm Normandy, Dot Shed Pack by ReFarm and DMI 20mm Normandy, Sugar Factory by Gamer HZS FSH, and Bale and Pallet Storage by Rowdy Christie One VSR Modding Sir. Right, now we've got that out of the way. What are we talking about from a slot count perspective? If you come on all three game modes, because everything's the same, yeah, buildings and equipment, you're going to use 1,245 slots. Right, fair enough. So what equipment do we start with? We'll go into this menu here. Under medium tractors, we've got the class Axion 800. Under harvesters, we've got the top line of 4090H. Under trailers, we've got the carrot 140 TD. Under headers, the top line of 4090 header. Under plows, we've got the POV 5XL. Under power harrows, the HR4040. Under subsoilers, the DC401. Then we'll come down to fertilizer spreaders. We've got the ZATS3200. We've got under mowers, the Duet7300. Under forage wagons, we've got the Zellen CFS2501DO. Under balers, we've got the Roland 455RC Uniwrap. Under head of trailers, the top line of 4090 trailer. And under weights, we've got the W600. Now, that you hear in the background is a plane. Yeah, there's a couple of planes flying around. Although the deer don't seem to be that bothered by it. But maybe they're just used to hearing them. Fair enough. Now, you start all three game modes here at the main shop. The class dealer, which is brilliant. And we're here in the map, which is just about sort of north of the middle a little bit. Now, that's it. There's not really a square field. Well, maybe 83. I mean, a couple of small ones, mind you. But they're all sort of individual. I think that's the best way to call it. Fair enough. Now, there is a couple of areas that we want to buy because obviously all the production chains and sale points are there. And this is the land you start with on New Farmer. So, 254 is your main start farm, 49, 251, 57, 11, 73, 21, and 39 is what you start with. Right, fair enough. Now, we do want to buy 253, yes, 249, yes, and then 247 fair enough now 247 and um, what was that one 253 basically they're both bgas just adds a couple of tanks up there but that one there 249 is another start farm oh, 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 oh indeed right so we'll make a start in the map we've got this area here right by the main shop now there is a little strange thing i must admit if you go into the goods menu we we'll scroll all the way down to the bottom. There's a couple of things. Well, there's one thing that's all right. There's two things I don't understand. Field grass, not a problem. You know, you plant it with a normal seeder. You harvest it with a normal harvester. Job's done. <laughs> Another crop for you to be dealing with. Heat, on the other hand, and soy drink. Now, there's nowhere to make the soy drink. You can sell it at those two places. But if you can't make it, then you can't sell it. All right. We'll carry on. We'll carry on. So we're starting off here at the shop. And this shop is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So you come over here. You've got your workshop trigger, workshop area. Pull your vehicle or your piece of equipment into the hatch marking area. And your header and trailer is already here. Yeah, fair enough. Now come around here. You've got a fuel tank. So obviously fill up your vehicles. It's a jet wash. For when you get dirty. Oh, ace. And then... What I think is brilliant is you come into the shop, so you've got your main icon just there. That's great, you know, come by whatever. Obviously, you've got all this stuff in here, but this harvester, this tractor, this <laughs> forage wagon, and that trailer are yours. <laughs> That's brilliant. It's like you've got to pick up your stuff from the shop. Look, we're just getting like that. There you are. And all your other stuff is there as well. That's brilliant. It's like you're starting off, you know, at the main shop. You go and collect your stuff and then just start your farming experience. That is ace. I do like that. I do like that indeed. 
right we'll carry on so we're going to come out of here now we're going to turn right and we're basically going to go up production chain junction because that's where they all are really let's face it so come down this road nice august morning sunshine so why not we're going to turn into here like that and then through here although well, saying that that may be the wrong way i've got lost already we'll go over the hedge why not we got this one here so your tailor shop so your workshop trick workshop your wardrobe trigger even at the front there you've got your loading in point you got your production chain menu 100 grand to buy then we'll come around here you've got your pallet spawn point just there then we'll come next door and there's a fence in the way there would be wouldn't there so we'll come down this side then we'll come I've lost the entrance already Oh dear, oh dear, it's going to be one of those, isn't it? I'm going to get lost at every turn. All right, we'll give it a go. We'll come in this side then. There we are, that's... All right, we'll come round here. Left-hand side first. This is going to be your sugar mill. It's not the normal one, so it's a little bit modified. That's all right. Loading in point just there. You can hear those aeroplanes. You can just hear them in the background. And then you come round the front. Or the back, depending on your point of view. So you've got your pallet spawn point production chain menu just there 60 grand so we'll come out of there and we'll go over the road it's gonna be another production chain for you so this is going to be your carpentry so pallet spawn point just there loading in point sell your wood and then production chain menu just there so 60 grand for that one so we'll come out of there there we are like that now come around there we've got a fuel station down here so we'll go across i must admit that's all right it's like a bullseye in flowers. <laughs> Fair enough. So next door to that is a fuel station. Let's see how much they're charging. Three pound three. Nope. We'll carry on. <laughs> dear, oh dear. So we'll go back past the tailor shop. So next to that <clears throat> is going to be your bakery. So you've got your loading in point, pallet spawn point, and then around the front here is going to be your production chain menu. So that's going to cost you fifty grand. Next door to that is going to be your cereal factory. Now we'll go this side. That would be a good idea. So you've got your pallet spawn point, loading in point, and then production chain menu just there. 110 grand. And we'll come back out of there. And we're going to go... No. <laughs> I've lost my way again. All right, we'll do, we'll do a bit of fence hopping. There you are. <laughs> Through somebody's fence. Why not? We're going to carry on up the road here a little bit. Now, it's a nice village feel, I must admit. I do like a good village on it. The only problem is you can't buy the village. Do we go into the map there? This area, you, you can't buy it. That would be perfect for a start from scratch sort of shenanigans, but all right, it is what it is. So we'll come around here like that. There we are. So we've got a dairy just here for you. So you've got your production chain menu just there. That's going to cost you 70 grand. Then you come around the back. All the way around. And then you've got your loading in point just there. Which would mean your pallet spawn point should be around here. Although there's no hatch marking area. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Alright, fair enough. We'll carry on. So, we're going to come back down the road. There's a couple just over there. Afternoon. Oh, he turned around pretty quick. It's like he didn't like the sight of me, but all right. Fair enough. Why not? So we come down here like that. We're going to turn right. I must admit, that is a bit of a shame that you can't buy the hatch, mar hatch marking area. You can't buy the village area, but all right. It is what it is. So we've got your sale point just there for you. So we've now moved over here. Well, actually, this is a buy point this side. So lime station just there. And we'll come down here and then around the back. There we are, like that. Carry on round. And you've got your sale point just there. Fair enough. Right, can we hop this fence? What? No. Oh, almost. No, we can't. Right. We're going to go next door. We're going to come over here. Is this going to be a sale point for you? So this is Sonnenblick. Just in there. It looks like an apartment building, to be fair. But all right. <laughs> we'll carry on. Right, where's the exit? There we are. So we're going to turn right here. And this is where it's going to lead down to your main start farm. If you come on New Farmer anyway. Which is in there. 
<laughs> Where's the entrance to the start farm? I would just go for over the hedge. Why not? <laughs> dear, oh dear, let's have a little bit of cheating. So first up, we got a animal pen. So pigs going into there, 108 going in. Obviously, you've got your food goes into that end. Then down this end, it's your slurry taken out point. We've also got a manure heap just there. And then we've got a cow barn next to it. Oh, got stuck on the fence. There we are, that's better. So how many go into this cow barn? 80 go in there. So milk that end. Slurry taken out point the other end. Obviously, food goes in. If you open this door, like that. I see food and straw go into there. And we'll carry on down here. Because we've got a bit of storage in this shed down here. There we are. We've got a bunker silo just there for you. When we come down here, you've got another big shed in front of you. Which is going to be great for storing stuff. So we'll open up this door. Workshop trigger in the corner. Fair enough. And we'll come out of there. We'll turn left down here. We've got a chicken coop in front of us. So how many chickens is this going to hold? So that's got... 360, so food goes in there. Then you've got your pallet spawn point this end. Then got a fuel tank. So this is going to hold 15,000 litres. So fill it up at the front. Jet wash there for you. You then got a bite in a pool silo. So this is going to hold solid fertiliser for you. And we spin it around like that. Another bite in a pool silo. So this is going to be seeds and mineral feed. We come around like that. Got another shed, a bit more storage in. There we are. Fair enough. And you've got your load in and load out at your silo just there. Well, that being said, there's no sleep trigger. That's interesting. There's no sleep trigger at all. I mean, there's plenty of planes flying across, mind you, because you're not going to really sleep that much, though, are you? There's no sleep trigger. Hmm. Interesting. All right, fair enough. We'll carry on then. All right, we're going to jump up to the top of the map up this one here. So this is going to be a sale point for you. So this is supermarket. So you just sling it round the back. Chuck it all in there. Fair enough. Right, we're going to come over to this area over here. So a bit like the one we've already seen before. You've got the one side, which is a buy point for your lime. Then you come round the other side. All the way around. They are like that. And then there's your sale point. So this one... It's going to be called Lime Station and then EQ. Okay, equaliser. Fair enough. We're now going to come down to this area down here. Now, the reason we bought this area, because obviously this icon popped up. So this is going to be for a slurry tank. Now, the icons aren't here if you don't buy the area. Just bear that in mind. So you've got your load in and load out there. Obviously, slurry storage. Open up that one. A bit more storage under there. Now, you can use that if you don't own it. That's fine. Got bunker silo over there. Come round here, and this is ace. Because you've got this bloke stood there. He doesn't do anything, mind you. It's like he works for the council, but all right, fair enough. Production, chain menu, 1.1 million. Obviously, load your stuff into there, your solid stuff. Slurry, and then digest it coming out of that one. <laughs> Look, he hasn't moved at all. Dear, oh dear. Right, let's carry on. So you've got a way bridge if you want to keep an eye on your weight. You've also got a taken out point of digest date round there as well. So we'll come around this way, like that. And we've got a buy point there for you. So this is going to be called, we'll click on that. No, not the buy gas plant. There we are, Lime Station. And next door, County, con, Country Trading. I need to put my teeth in. It's around the other side. <laughs> Just in there. I wonder if they trade in teeth. I need a new set. Right, fair enough. We'll come down to this one down here. So this is going to be another fuel station for you. So is the price any better? No, it's the same. Right. We'll leave that one quick. Dear, oh dear. Right, so we're going to come down. Actually, we're going to jump across this field. Why not? All through the ditch. I've got my feet wet now. Now, over here is your pallet and bale storage. Obviously, we don't own the land, mind you. Can we even buy the land? 246. Yes. All right, it's there anyway. Fair enough. Fair enough indeed. Now, next door to that is one of the greatest buildings in the map. Oh, in the whole of the game, I reckon. And it, my personal opinion, I must admit, but I like it anyway. So we're going to come down here, and on the right-hand side... We have to come all the way down, aren't we? Oh, there's no break in the fence. Marvellous. 
There we are. There we are. Silo. Oh, let's give it a go. Ferro Vieri. Yeah, we'll give it like that. <laughs> Leave that there. So you've got your taken out point there. So it's going to be another buy point for your lime. And then down this side is going to be your sell point. There's that plane. There it is. Oh, it's two of them. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Right, we'll come out of there. I think we're being hunted down by the planes, but all right, we'll carry on. So next door to that, like I said before, the greatest building in the game. I mean, look at that. That ace. Obviously, animal dealer. Bring your trailer down if that's the way you want to do it. And then round the back is going to be a sow point. So come all the way down here like that. Well, if we hide under this roof, that means the planes can't see us. <laughs> just an idea. So you've got your sow point just there for you. Now next door, it's going to be a load of greenhouses. Oh, we've got over one fence. Oh, that's a bargain. Let's give it a go again. No, no, we can't do it. <laughs> that one's a little bit higher. Now all these greenhouses, they're there on the map. You don't own them to start off with, but you do need to buy them. We're going to have to come all the way around, aren't we? Oh, marvellous. Have we got to go? Ah, oh, there we are. Is the entrance. So, standard base game greenhouses. Obviously, put your water in. Production chain menu. Pallet spawn points down the side. So, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six greenhouses down here. What's they charging for, actually? Let's open the door. There we are. So, that's going to cost you ten grand. Fair enough. And then, there as well is also a water tank. Fair enough. Start yourself a little greenhousery section. Right, we'll carry on. We're going to come over to the secondary start farm, although it may want to be your first one. Now, the reason it may want to be your first one is because this one comes with a sleep trigger. She's just there by the front door. All right, fair enough. So you've got all these buildings there. So you've got your silo loading in there. Come around like that. There's your silo taken out. A bit of storage as well. Come in here, you've got your jet wash, got your fuel tank. How much is that holding? 15,000 litres again. You've got manure heap which connects to the cow barn over there. We're going to come around here, buy in a ball silo. So this is going to be your seeds and your mineral feed. And we'll come down this side. Nice little driveway around the back, plenty of space. Come around like that. So there's your main silo, so you load in and load out at the front there. Big slurry pit, so load in and load out on the front of that one. We've got a animal barn here. Let's click on that. We own this, actually. We bought this as a pigsty. So why is... If you open a slurry pit... No, that stinks. Close it back up, quick. The animal dialogue box is not working. It's interesting. We can open that gate. Yeah, so your food goes into there. I wonder if that icon... It's hidden somewhere else. Alright, let's have a little look in here. No. Nothing that we can see anyway. What about we open that gate? That's interesting. That animal dialogue box is not working. Yeah, that's a, that's a bit of an issue if you want to do some pigs. Because you can't put any in. Well, you could always have them delivered straight from your from the animal dealer. But if you want to get them down here. I'll open that gate. There you are. Ah, oh, we are. Animal dialogue box just inside the door. I'll take it all back. There you are. 25 pigs going in there. Got to open the door first, which is sort of like here. The trigger for the door is here, not at the front of it. And then the animal dialogue box is once you get inside. We got it then. Oh, it's quite small. There you are. Animal dialogue box. All right, fair enough. There's your pigs. So you've got this barn as well. Big storage area in here. Nice looking barn this is. Big storage area in there as well. You've got this ladder. You can go up there. Oh, can we actually? Let's give it a go. Yeah, we're up. Bit of a hayloft. Oh, no, four not. <laughs> we'll carry on. So we'll come over here. And we've got a cow barn. So you've got your taking out point for your milk. You've got your animal dialogue box there. 200 cows going into that. Open up that one. And you're inside. Fair enough. Oh, it's this one. You come over here like that, you lower those down, and there's your straw and feed trigger. Oh, ace. Ace indeed, I do like this one. 
So we'll open up that one like that. We'll chase the deer out because you know why not. We're going to have another bite in a ball silo just there. So that's going to be a solid fertilizer. Big bulk of silo. Bit of storage. And then over here. We'll open up that gate. A bit more storage. I like that better than the other start farm to be fair. I'm not sure you could sell the other one because it's got placeables on it. But that's a much better start farm. I mean, yeah, it's even got the sleep trigger, but I like that one better. But all right, fair enough. We'll carry on. We're going to jump over to this area over here. So we've got another buy and sell point. So this one is going to be called TQ. So your sell point is here. And then your buy point for your lime is just in that building. Fair enough. Right, we'll carry on again. I'm going to come over to this area up here. So this is going to be your second BGA. But again, obviously, because we've bought the area, we'll come around here. You've got two slurry tanks here. Load in and load out the front. Yeah, that's that's going to stick. Dear, oh dear. Waybridge over there. Loading in your solid stuff. Oh, the council work is back. <laughs> Stood there doing nothing as usual. So 1.1 million again. And then you've got your loading in point for your slurry. Your loading taking out point for your digest date even. And we'll come around here. And you've got your taking out point for digest date again. And over here... A little workshop trigger. Yeah. Bring your vehicles here. Get them fixed up. Fair enough. What's two bonkers? Are? He's he's tracking me. He is definitely tracking me. We need to get moving. Because I'm <laughs> they're chasing me. Right. We're going to come up to this area up here. This is going to be another production chain for you. This is your sugar mill. Another one. But not the standard one. This is one of the required mods. So that's going to be 70 grand different building though it's all right so you've got your loading in point just there and your pallet spawn point just there oh i like the different building that is very nice right we we'll come across we're going to go up to the last area up the top here so this is going to be another production chain for you so it could be a grain mill again so you click on that 96 grand to buy you've got your loading in point pallet spawn point should be there but there's no hatch markings Interesting again. There's a couple of things that are not marked out on here, but all right, fair enough. We'll carry on. And then next door to that is going to be a sow point, but it's not the usual sow point because this is one of the required mods as well. Where's, where's the road in? Oh, I've missed the entrance already. Is that a gate there? No. Dear, oh dear, I've got myself lost. Right, we'll try up here. Is it in here? Oh, here we are. Look, that gate blended into the fence. All right, fair enough. We'll open up that gate. There we are. Now, this is your recycling centre. Yes, ace. So, you've got a sow point there for what can be... the wood chip bales? What it looks like. That could be chaff. We've then got pallets of food. we have got something else that looks like wood chips itself. And we'll spin it around there like that. And then we've got... What, fabric and wool. And we've got some other stuff in there. So that's going to be like your wood in that. That's going to be your stones. Yeah, recycling centre. Oh, very nice. Right, we'll carry on then. So obviously that's the last part of the map to be having a look at. But we'll have a little flyover to finish. Because these are shaped fields. Add a different element to it. It's like, especially with these here. You know, you've got this tree island in the middle. So you're going to have to work your way around that. Yeah, it's not worker friendly. But then if you're like me and like to do it yourself anyway, you're not really bothered by it not being worker friendly. Oh, I like it. You know, something a little different. Yeah, very nice. Right, so that's your map tour done for you. Why not hit the join button? Come join us on Andy's farm. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It's muchly appreciated. But for me, that's it for today. And I'll see you in the next one.